hello guys welcome to technonic tutorials today in this video i am going to show you how to connect your xamp with netbean integrated development environment as we know that xamp is an open source closed platform web server and it support netbean and dreamweaver like in dreamweaver we can have project related to html and php so let us start first of all you should have installed xam xam on your system i have already installed it now i click on apache and my sql the two services has been start now we will go on our google chrome browser and here we enter the name of the uh, uh, in the address bar like localhost now we will enter uh, we will hit on php my admin click on php my admin and here you can see the list of databases uh, first of all i have created a database called net conferences and client uh, let's say i have uh, let's say we go on client database first of all you have to create a database called client now here we have to enter the name of the table in my case uh i will enter uh, the name say, uh, user data i will show you in a minute that uh, where i have used this table in my project and i will enter the number of column let's say 2 and then i will hit on go now uh, i will run my netbean software it will take a while for opening and uh, we will wait for that here now the main thing that how we will connect our xamp with netbean is that whichever project you have in your netbean uh, which you want to connect with xamp right click on that first of all go in that and after that uh, in library right click and then add libraries and then select the mysql jdbc library this one and then add it okay now go on services right click on a database and click on new connection and on the driver select mysql connector slash j driver and click on next here you have to enter the database name in my case i have enter uh, the name of a database is my in my case the name of database is client like you can see here and the table name is user data okay so i will enter the database name client that's it and the username should be root and the password in my case will be empty and the port number will be assigned and now click on test connection uh, the result will be connection successfully succeeded this show you that your uh, database has been linked to your xamp that you uh, okay now click on next and again click on next and then finish that's it now this you can see the jdbc mysql localhost url has been defined and your uh, connection with xamp has been established to check that first of all go i will go on to my project client.java here i have defined the jdbc connection now i will go on source page and this is the code for jdbc connection what we have to do you can copy that you can copy this code in your system what we have to do is just we have to specify the location like here within the inverted commas we have this url address you can see here this is same as this uh, url so what we will do is that we will go on properties and we will and uh, copy this database url and then we will paste that within this inverted commas i have already already done that so there is no need to do that again and i will specify the name 
to root and the password will be empty okay so uh, i have al also created a table called as user data as i have already shown you in xam so uh, for that we have to uh, we have to specify the two field called chat and the user like i have uh, a table called user data okay we will change that uh, to user data as i have defined the user data table in xam okay now we have two field called chat and user now we will do that i will specify the name which will be in capital chat and user okay uh, now specify the type where care and specify the length like i will specify 200 then for this chat field and 50 for this field okay now hit on if the particular table has been created this is initially empty now what will happen is that as our connection is already successful now we have to run this project and that particular uh, thing we will enter in our project will be saved in a uh, table which is present in a database uh, called client and which is present in the xam okay now i will run my project server for java okay and the project has been project is running it will open a window okay i will hit start the server has started now i will run my client file the client file has started now this pop-up box has uh, is showing that the particular uh, connection is successful i will click on ok and then i will enter the name of the user this name will be uh, inserted into that table called chat uh, user data okay now say i will enter the name called uh next and i will hit join this particular name has been saved now also i will enter the message like hi all these uh thing we have entered in our project in our field text field have been saved in our database if we want to show then we will go on client and then we click on table called user data this particular uh, data which we have entered in the text field have been saved that's it we have successfully connect uh, showed how we can connect xam with netbean if you have any queries leave the comment and subscribe to our channel thank you